Here in the Northern Hemisphere, we are about to head into winter, a tough time of year for many. But did you know that there's something that can really help you get through it in a healthy and uplifting way and that it's completely free? What I'm talking about is the sun. In particular, the morning sun, because the morning sun is filled with so many benefits for us and is actually vital for the proper functioning of our bodies. So why is that? Well, well, first of all, I can hear you say, well, there is no morning sun in Britain, for example, in the winter. And that is true. We can go through weeks of sort of thick cloud and drizzle and rain and grey, but there will still be the sun's rays going through the clouds and they will still benefit you. So look for the light, look for the morning light and spend a good few minutes outside even when it's cold because it will really benefit you. So there are two kinds of lights. There's the infrared light which actually charges your mitochondria, a very important part of your cells, the most ancient part of your cells. So it's important to have healthy mitochondria. It also helps to improve your collagen and increases the antioxidants in your cells. So very, very important. And then there's the blue light, which is equally, if not more important, so the blue light is picked up by our eyes. In fact, a lot of the light through the day is picked up by our eyes, which makes it very important not to wear sunglasses. Now, probably in winter, you're not going to do that anyway. But in case you're one of those people who even wears sunglasses inside, don't. But even if you're in the southern hemisphere and you're heading into summer, uh, it's very tempting to wear those sunglasses. But leave them off for long enough to let your biorhythms reset, because this is what the blue light does. It helps to reset all the processes in your body, including hormones, temperature, digestion, and sleep. And we, it's very important to have our hormones regulated in the correct way. And this is what the blue light is going to do for you. In fact, they say, that a good night's sleep starts in the morning. Because in the morning, when your melatonin, for example, is properly regulated, your melatonin levels are going to go down. And then they'll go up again at night and help you to sleep. So this is part of what's going to happen with the blue light and regulate it and make sure that your melatonin levels go down. And then there's the mid-morning sun. So we need another little hit of light in the mid-morning. And the UVA that we get from the light in mid-morning helps to activate our neurotransmitters. So our, it's going to increase our serotonin and our dopamine. This is going to increase our energy. It's going to help our mood. This is very important if you suffer from seasonal affective disorder or SAD, as it's called. And many people do, and it can make your life pretty miserable in winter. So it's very, very important to make sure you get this light. And also, it will help to get those melatonin levels to go down. Um, and this is going to increase our energy um, because you don't want high level, levels of mel melatonin during the day. It's just going to make you sleepy. And then as the day goes on and you get to the evening, then that serotonin is going to become your melatonin and your energy will go down and your sleepiness will increase. Now, of course, um, in this day and age, we've all got our devices which have got blue light and and we have them at night, you know, before to bed, you go to bed, we're, you know, sitting with our iPad or our phone or our computer in bed and then turn off the light and expect to be able to sleep. Well, it's not going to work like that because there is blue light coming off all these devices. You can get glasses that block out this blue light or an even better option 
is to put your devices aside at least a couple of hours before you go to sleep. That's going to really help improve your sleep. And sleep could not be more important. Look what happens to us when we don't sleep. We feel miserable the next day. I know for myself, I'll, I'll feel more emotional. So if I'm upset about something, I'm going to be a lot more upset if I haven't had enough sleep. And you're going to want to eat. It's going to make you, because you have no energy, you, you, you're going to want to eat and you're going to probably end up eating junk food and then feel terrible and, and, and not feel good. So um, to get, to help get that good night's sleep, put your devices aside at night and get your hit of light during the day. So you want to get at least 15 minutes of that natural early morning sunlight, be it direct or through the clouds. And then you want another hit of at least sort of five, 10 minutes mid morning. And you will see the difference this will make. You're going to have more energy. You're going to have a better mood. Your hormones will regulate probably. Your biorhythms will all be working in harmony as they should. And it's just a little bit of light and it's so easy to do. Um, so I hope that's helpful. And I hope it's going to get you through the winter. And I know that's certainly something I will be doing because I know that all those things affect me too. Thank you.